City Honors students filled a federal courtroom today in what was expected to be the sentencing for a former teacher. But as our Marley Tuskis tells us, those plans changed after an outpouring in support of the victims. Marley. David Jordan, Judge Richard Arcara told the courtroom he was prepared to hand down a sentence today until he received an unprecedented amount of phone calls, emails, and letters demanding Peter Hingston receives no leniency. I have a friend who was a victim of his, and she's totally different now after all of his abuse. She said that she is so afraid that she's going to leave her house and see this man again. I told her not to worry because there was no need to worry since he was in jail now and he was going away. But she told me who's to say that he's not going to come back out in seven years and that I'm going to have to live my life in fear that I'm going to see my abuser again. In the five days since Peter Hingston's last court appearance, City Honor students, alumni, and parents have flooded Judge Richard Arcara's office with personal testimony and demands for justice for Hingston's victims. As a result, Arcara adjourned today's sentencing for a later date to be determined in order to review everything. He told the court, quote, there's a lot that I need to work through. Clearly, the events of the past week have been making an impact and uh, making the voices heard, making the voices of the victims heard throughout the Buffalo community and beyond is what we've been going for. Hingston pleaded guilty to two charges of child pornography last year. In 2019, Buffalo police were called to city honors where Hingston was working as a middle school technology teacher. There, they recovered sexually explicit photos of minors on a GoPro and child pornography videos on a hard drive. Sentencing documents show a guideline sentence for these crimes as a maximum of 24 years. Hingston's attorneys are asking for seven years behind bars, something former students are now fighting against. I understand um, the judge's concerns over the emotive aspects to our testimonies, but I also ask him to really see the evidence that Hingston is a premeditated abuser who cannot be allowed to walk our streets again. Reporting in Buffalo, Marley Tuskus, News 4.